Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour with Dridgers. If you don't know us, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK and this is our Morocco series. We're currently in the richest and largest city in Morocco, Casablanca. We arrived here about a week ago in Agadir and made our way here on buses to so go back and watch them. Yeah, they were, stressed. yes, it was our first time doing buses in Morocco. And to be honest, they were all right. And the scenery, stunning. As you see us now, we're in the Arab League Park. Really, really beautiful, to be honest. Really beautiful, isn't it? It just like, looks like a peaceful place that everyone comes, sits down, chills. And there's a few cats going around, beautiful tall palm trees. We haven't really got a plan today. We want to see a bit of the modern side. Also want to go and see the mosque, obviously the big mosque. One of the biggest and most famous probably in Morocco. Also, the Medina is actually not that far from us, so we're gonna go have a look in there quick. We've been there before, but I'm never gonna say no to shopping, am I? And obviously, it's essential for a Tridges video to include lots and lots of street food. And mm. yeah, yeah, and I think we probably start off with getting a mint tea. We're heading to the big, massive city. This is a bit of a culture change for us. We flew into Agadir, spent some time by the beach, total chilled up. I, I, I must say, I do recommend Agadir if you want to look for a holiday, because Agadir is very, very a nice, relaxing place. We then went up the coast to Essaouira, which is a sleepy town. We got the six hour comfort bus to the bright lights of Casablanca and it's a little bit hectic here but it's going to take some getting used to but I'm excited and I'm really like I'm a big big city boy so I'm, I'm happy to be here Hello, welcome Morocco <laughs> Thank you yeah, We're in Mohammed the fifth square So you can get pictures and they throw the food and make the pigeons fly yeah, There's yeah. also loads of vendors selling Is that pigeon food? It's oh yeah, yeah so that's the pigeon food there so loads of people are selling it So there's a lot of pigeons here If you like your pigeon or if you're afraid don't come here But it's a beautiful square uh, no, thank you. Oh, Hannah. Hannah, where is it? Is she doing it? I think I'm having it done. <laughs> hey, do you want it done? Looks all right, it's done. How much? <laughs> How much? 20. $2. Yeah. Right. yeah. Just grab my hand and did it anyway. I said I wanted one. Let's hope I'm not allergic. Yeah. It's funny because Rihanna did actually say that she wanted one, but uh, the woman didn't give us, we didn't really give her a chance to say no. So we're paying 20 dirham for it, and Rihanna's getting one done. Ah, uh, shukran, shukran. Shukran. Did you No. No, no, only one. How long? Minute, 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 and then wipe it off. Oh, oh okay, it'll dry and yeah. then flake off. Thank you. Oh. Did, did you give her money? No, I haven't done it yet. Come see, come see, Change? Oui. Oui. No, change. What's happening here? 20. No, no, you said 20. 20, too late now. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Stop lying. I can see it there. 20. 20. She said 20 and now she's saying 50. Should have checked for the money first. It's too late, she was doing it, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. 20, where's the change? I'll get change. You're not having $5. See, she's cheeky because she started doing it without us knowing and then now she's uh, she's demanding like $5 even though she said two and we're like, there's nothing we can really do. Makassi. <laughs> <laughs> Chagrin. Chagrin. Oh, you happy with it though? Oh no, I smudged it. So I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do. I think she said like leave it for a while and then it flakes off in the sun. But I'm just scared because I've never had one before and I've seen people get allergic reactions. And I just trip. Just saying to Rianne, like all these restaurants along here and the ones up there, they look like, like our sort of food. Mm. But we like like grab and go food, don't we? Like sort yeah. of, like tacos, kebabs, shawarmas, and that's what all these restaurants are, like unreal, and really cheap as well. This is on the way to the Medina, so this is like the city centre, I'd say. So you've got your, your McDonald's and KFC, whenever you find them, you know you're in like a busy area. All right, it looks like it's quite dry now. There's some wet bits, but I'm getting it off. I'm getting really nervous that I might be allergic. Look, like, I'm thinking it's itchy, but well, I think it's just where it's drying. So I've seen people like blister up over them, but I'm just gonna, so that bit's still a bit wet, as you can see, but I'm just gonna wipe it off. But yeah, it's quite orange, Look some little that. bits. That looks amazing. Need to wash it, I think. Oh, I thought it was meant to be brown. Are they supposed to be brown? 
Okay, we've come straight into Medina. What do you think? It's all scraped off now. I don't think it's meant to be this orange. Ben's already getting um, made to go into shops. You get it a lot in the Medinas, but they're so friendly, chat and nice. And they were saying about the football tonight, Morocco's playing tonight, so we've got to find a good spot to go and watch it today. You'd think that Ben would know better by now, but no, he knows not to just follow people, especially when they say, I've got a card, they take you all the way out of the well, Medina. Give his card, not exactly to take it. No, yeah. he'll take you all the way out of the Medina and um, take you to the more like local other bit. Not the big main bit, in other words. <laughs> but you'll never learn. You're so gullible. He is literally so gullible. No, Someone no, could no. come up to him and go, oh, if you hop in your right foot for 10 minutes, I'll give you a million pounds, and he yeah, will. Yeah, I sort of knew, about halfway, I knew what was going on. I know. It was nice, it was nice. He worked about it. It wasn't so. No, it was chatted. Well, we're back in the Medina now. We want to get something to eat, drink. I need a wee, so let's have a look. Hello. Uh, we're in the closed bit. I think we're in the centre bit now. Pretty typical in these Medinas. It's very um, a bit claustrophobic, a bit like very busy. Like... I know, you've got to like cuddle like this. Yeah. Ben's like, leave me alone. Hey, brother. No, thank you. So we have come to an area where it looks like everyone lives like their daily lives. You've got your fruit and your veg. And also you've got like all like your amenities, clothes and all that sort of stuff. The fish here are just so different and unique. You've got loads of bread over there being cooked. Loads of bread, fruit and veg. Um, but we're actually like trying to find a way out of here. It's like a maze. We're just going through the Medina now. We've literally, honestly, been lost in here for about half an hour, probably an hour. We just don't know where we're going. We don't, we're trying to get out. We don't even know how to get out. It's just- uh... Found it, there's the lights. Oh, there, we are. we're out now. But yeah, they're, they're selling loads of like, obviously you knock off stuff. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> he was waving at me and I was like, didn't put the camera on, I didn't see him until the last minute. Like, what a guy. Um, yeah, everyone's really nice as usual, but Medina's are like very like hectic and it's a bit too much for me at the moment. So I'm gonna uh, get here, get back to the sunlight. For anyone looking for a bargain, you know what me and Ram are like, we always say the same thing. The best shops are normally the ones on the outside. And that's where we are at the moment. Uh, you keep one, I'm fine. Uh, copy how much? 20. 20. What? 2 dirham. Oh. You want? One. One. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? You are fine. Um, Everything one. is okay. Yeah, one. Yeah. Senegal. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's men. Everything Minty. is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. You know, uh, El Hajju. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Liverpool. Ah, Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah. 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 Oh, nice to meet you. So we got mint tea. It's a mint tea, Ben. Oh, is it? Yeah, they had, I think they had coffee or mint tea. Two Durham. Oh, it smells delicious. I see um, how much. God, this boy's getting hectic. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh, gosh. No, thank you. Shall I get out of the way? Ben obviously can't see to his left because he's partially blind there. But, yeah, go on. It's really hot, so you can probably drink it. I can't. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Sweet. Yeah, it's well nice. Oh, is it sweet? Yeah. Oh, I don't normally drink. Um, like when I'm at home, I have peppermint. But the mint tea out here, you gotta have it sweet. It's like, think about it. Oh, so good. It's so good. It just makes it so much better. Now we need to find the bread with honey on it. That's our aim today. I wanted a mint tea. The, uh, the, the pancakes, Moroccan pancakes mm. with honey on them. I've read about them and apparently they are to die. Let's see if we can find them. We might have to go back in the Medina. Yeah, I think so. Wish we got two of these now. Yeah. But Ben was f speaking football with him. Well, he spoke very limited English and Ben spoke no French. <laughs> yeah, but I know like, that he's from Senegal. He's the second person from Senegal that I've, uh, I've come to on my travels. And I always say the same thing. Oh, you know how how's you? And you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just start talking about football and stuff. Oh, wow. Chips. Chips and fish. It's 
So we found a lot of like meal stuff and tagines here. We want like something snacky and street foody. I had to keep pulling Ben aside because all these mopeds are coming down. Yeah, we're in like a local area now and it's like food, hey, smelling hey, food everywhere. How are you? <laughs> hey, it's me! <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Hello. 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 Morocco. South Africa tonight. Yeah. South Africa. Inshallah. 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 Mashallah. Mashallah. Uh, you have it uh, with honey. So, but we're in the Medina and we have found the best spot for us. This is what we like. Proper local. No one's even here. We've just got a traditional mint tea, Moroccan style, and a little pancake as well. I forget the name of these pancakes, but they're like really like it's like a thing here in Morocco. Oh, the cat. Yeah, the cat's just there. Uh, this is why Brian's laughing. The cats just jump up on my lap. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, these pancakes in it, and they, they normally come with honey and stuff as well. But the cats actually. Uh, what? Yeah. You can go on the floor now. Stop. All right, we've got some traditional tea, mint tea. Oh, sweet as well, delicious. And then we've got, I think it's pancake, cross between pancake and bread, and it's got honey on it. So we found one. We found one with honey. Oh, just cut it up and heated it up for us. So we're getting the proper treatment. Oh, look how flaky it is. Mmm. With the honey on it. Unreal. It's so crispy. Look, smothered in it. And you just tear it. Look, it's just like flaky bits of bread. That's so good. I can imagine that's really good for breakfast, but them two going together, just unreal. Merci. Oh, that was perfect. It's just what we needed. I'm so glad we found like the proper ones with honey and them heated up. They look 10 times better. Oh, that's it's so wow. delicious. And that's like a perfect like lunch. Is if you've been following us well, you know that we don't really eat like lunch and dinner because days like today we will snack on street food and local cuisine. But we've got to find our way back out of the Medina, and we're going to head back to our place. Ben's getting so much attention in his T-shirt. They're loving it. They're saying Vida, Vida, yeah, Vida Morocco. Vida Morocco. Everyone's like, hey. <laughs> it's lovely. Um, I just wanted to mention about the transport here. I forgot all about it, but they have trams here. You can't even get a train on the other, uh, like Agadir and all that. So we've got trains, uh, buses, trams, a lot more like public, public transport. transport yeah. yeah, and it's super cheap and like easy to use. Um, we're just going to head to some of the like um, more like modern area where all the shops are, like Zara and everything are. Have you got any map? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's meant to the map guy, but I think he daydreams half the time. But this looks like a high street kind of area. The really good like food areas where we would normally sit out and eat. Um, ice cream, ooh. Ice cream over there. If you know me, I've got a sweet tooth. Love a bit of ice cream. Yeah, so you click on that direction. 25 minutes. I think we're about 30 minutes from the shops. They're like near where we're staying. So we're going to head back that way and have a look around there. A bit more of the modern area. Just going to say, yeah, because we've done a lot of the uh, Medina and stuff. Last time we was here. We were going to head to the Hassan the Second Mosque, but we went there last time. It's a beautiful mosque, and if you come here, especially for your first time, I highly recommend going there. But it's about a 30 minute walk, and I'm a bit knackered out after that Medina, so I don't really want to walk 30 minutes more away from our place. Yeah, we might as well walk 30 minutes towards that place. Instead, we're going to do some shopping. Yeah. Right, so we've come to Mohammed Zogtuni Street. This is like the more modern side. There's like Zara, McDonald's, KFC. You Saint Laurent. Yeah, all, all that sort of thing. It's just like your international brands. A lot of them are here. The pavements are like 10 miles wide. Being in the Medina, it's a little bit, like I said before, claustrophobic. It's a high street kind of feel. Yeah, it? Um, yeah. Busy main road in the middle. But this is where, as Ben says, all the like, what do you call them? Shops? Your international brands, your chain, your chain brands. Okay, I may have got something in Bershka. I just got a t-shirt, it was on sale, it was only 99 dirham. Um, I've got a bit of birthday money left over, so I treated myself out of that. Not from our money. Gives me the evils when I spend it on like I shopping. I don't know, I'm quite chilled out for the night. I found this store. In England, you can only buy that make online on Asol, so we have no stores. 
and it was so good in there. It's really like goodly priced and cheap. Um, I just got a t-shirt from the sale in there. Ben's literally hating me right now. This t-shirt in there from sale for 70 Durham. Just a cute little t-shirt. I just needed a couple more t-shirts. But are we gonna head back now? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna head back now. We've been out all day. I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Your support means so much to us and we really enjoy what we do and we hope you enjoy watching it and we hope it encourages you guys to get out and travel a bit more, especially to places like Morocco, which I don't think many people actually visit. Underrated. How good is this? Underrated yeah. country, such Definitely. a brilliant country. So make sure you watch the next video because we are going to explore Africa's largest mall, Morocco Mall. Subscribe. One, two, three, go. Oh, sneezies. Does it look cool? Yeah, he's, he's facing now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, what else, Ben? Um, nothing. I was just looking at Morocco. Thing. I wonder they. Ben, we're football. finishing the video. Go then. Right. So we've come to. So this looks like where they 